let's talk about system reliability, predictability. Um, what are the chances that what you expect happen is going to happen and, and why it never really works out? And that's because the reliability of a system as a whole, right? So the, the expected outcome is a product of all of the components of the system. It sounds complicated, it's really not. Uh, but so let me explain. Let's say you have a light switch that 90% of the time it flips on and you have a wire 90% of the time it works, right? 81% probability there, 90% times 90% is 81%. And now you actually have a light and 90% uh, of the time, it's 90% reliable that it'll turn on. Now in real life, all of these things are way more reliable than that. I'm just keeping the math easy. So 90%, 90%, 90%, do the math, 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.9, 72% chance that the thing does what you expect it to do. Now, even though every component is equally reliable, 90%, every time you add a component, the total reliability decreases. So already we know that more components decreases liability. So step one, as few components as possible to make something work will make it more reliable. So remove the unnecessary stuff. Two, and this is really, really important. Let's say I have a diet that's 90% reliable, right? This diet program 90% of the time produces results, it's great. And I only do the stuff I'm supposed to do 60% of the time, weekends, holidays, depression, eat some ice cream, whatever, right? 90% times 60% is 54. 54% reliability. Even if the diet was 100% times 60%, we'd end up with 60% uh, reliability. So the weakest component in a system, which is often our human behavior, it's often our human behavior, the weakest component in the system will bring the entire system down. Anything multiplied by zero is zero, right? So the two steps to having more predictable life, income, business, anything, is remove as many components as possible. If it is not necessary, remove it. And then once you have the, the minimum viable, the most efficient system as far as minimum components, Focusing on bringing up the lowest hanging fruit will have the biggest impact because you could have 100% reliable, 100% reliable, 100% reliable, 53% reliable. And the reliability of the whole system is 53% even though all those other components are perfect. Right? And again, a lot of times the limiting factor, the lowest, the lowest hanging fruit that needs the most improvement is our own behavior. We don't do what we're actually supposed to do which means we cannot actually gauge the efficacy of our plans because um, our behavior is a limiting factor. So when you're thinking about complex systems, always think about how do I remove as many components as possible and then what is the weakest component and how do I, how do I bring that up? That's the limiting factor. How do I improve that?